Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. See the turtle of enormous girth. On his back, he holds the earth. His thought is slow, but always kind. He holds us all within his mind. On his back, all vows are made. He sees the truth, but mayn't aid. He loves the land and loves the sea, and even loves a child like me. It is a story of a cosmic horror about humanity coming face to face with creatures that exist outside of our own comprehension, outside of the physical barriers that make up our reality, and manage to bend and shape the world around us as they will. The turtle kind of represents the ethereal goodness in the multiverse, a kind of withered soul that seeks to aid any manner of individual in need, no matter how small they seem to be. The other continent is that they say they create, uh, the people kill their god and they cut off their head which would be the time of uh, Ulysses where he blinds the thunder is making my eyesight worse the giant the cyclops that would be our third eye if you weren't a cyclops so I began to look at what the world looked like on the other side Like they say, you know, the native people pick up the head and they were supposed to bring it back at one point. So they tied it to the turtle's tail. And this would be the head. This would be the Amazon River. Kikikaka Lake that goes down to the side. And you got Chile, you know, with the mountain ranges. And you will, uh, uh, and on the other side you have Kilimanjaro, which would be the elbow. The shoulder would be the uh, European Alps, the Russian Alps, and the Himalayas that starts from Indonesia all the way up to Japan. You got Australia, New Zealand, Madagascar, Fuji Islands, Hawaii Islands, and the Canary Islands. And in this story is that we were supposed to bring it back. Native people were supposed to bring it back. The people of the land. Bring that. The head. So what's happening is that it's sliding over, upwards like that. It's like this parcel of land is floating. Just as the turtle is sliding over, it's bringing it back. So there's a, like a, what we call the bath, is that it's like pushing sand and there's like a platform and then it drops off to the actual floor of the ocean. So you got that on one side, and this side is steep. Now there's two, uh, two currents in the ocean, one going up north, and the other one going down south, passing by Australia, coming to bounce off South America and back up to hit uh, Asia. And this would be the harders. And you see the temple every time there's an hurricane. And the tempo seems to get faster in the last few years, which means it's emptying out. It picks up moisture and heat, and with them, speed. As its winds reach 39 miles per hour, it becomes a tropical storm and is given a name, Katrina. The, the artery, it's like when you cut off the neck and you got two arteries and they're pumping blood. And this is what creates the pressure in the ocean. It creates a disturbance in the ocean, which creates a disturbance in the air, which creates the tornado, the hurricane. 
So one of them goes up and the other one goes down and goes around the world before hitting Asia. As I studied oceanography, the leg is like this. And once you put the head back here, you see this creature. Why the two creatures? They're the two, that's what we call the two grandfathers. They're the longest living creatures that walks on the earth. And they have the memory of the evolution of the earth itself. Where they recount the birth of, the, of our planet. So as I began to see all of this, It changed my, my vision. It reinforced my belief upon Mother Earth. Why do we call it Mother Earth? Because yeah. this is the female entity. That's the grandmother, the turtle. And the male is that it has, this is a musk gland of the elephant. When it mates, it starts to, to run. This muscle arm starts to run. That's the male entity. And it has lost its vision upon where it's gone. And this is what's happening upon the earth right now. Niggas, same thing.